morning everybody um today i decided i was going to do something a little different i'm going to do two different apps um i'm going to do kind of a fun app and then i'm going to do um like a utility app later so this is my first one this is actually an old app miss spiders tea party and this is probably one of the first apps i downloaded for my children just because they love miss spider it's a cartoon on um, nick jr i think and so it was only right that we got the app so there were actually two there's this one and then there's one i think it's called um the bedtime story or something like that i would have to look and see and put it in this in the description but um this is miss spider's tea party i just want to show you guys a little bit about it i'm not going to hold you too long it's just a quick run through not really a review because like i said i love the app i've watched my children play it for um, I can't say hours on end, but I have watched them get engrossed in it, so I know that it's fun in that regard. Um, here you have one, two, three, four, five one different options. You have the um, the read option, which is actually a story. It's a book, and I think on this one she can read it to you. You can take it where the words off, and you just see the pictures. And it's kind of interactive, and when you click things, it makes noise and lights up. So that's always fun for children. You know, they like anything that lights up. Um, I don't know how to get out of this now. Oh, uh, there we go. So that's the read one. And then you can also watch it if you just want to watch the video. And again, it has the words at the bottom, and they light up as she's reading. So it kind of gets your children, you know, not only looking at the pictures, but looking at the words. So that's the story part. Then there's a match game, which it has two different options. You can do the 16 square match, or you can do the 30 square match if you're really, really good. And that's just a match game. You try to see which ones you can get, and they make cute little noises when you click them. Then there's a paint, where they give you pictures to paint or you know color in or whatever now this one it fills it in so you just do this or you know if you're really really good you can do one color at a time or whatever the case may be but it actually gives you that you know it fills it in so you don't have just colors all over the place so that's the color option um, let me see. I've never actually watched. I've watched my daughter play this one, but I've never actually kind of. Oh, so you can change it where it does fill in and it doesn't fill in. So I would do it with the lines. That's just me. So there's the line option. And there's if you don't care about the lines. Then you have where you can make the sizes bigger for like when you're trying to fill these little spaces in. So you can make those bigger or smaller. And you can always clear it out. Um, is there's more pictures? I don't think so. I think it nope, it says save image. So you can save it, but you can, and you can change it. So here you go. You have options here. You can change your image. And we've got quite a few. So there's coloring for days. And then you can save it if you want to save your pictures and post them or whatever. If you just want to save them and print them out for your children. Okay, and then the last option is a puzzle, and this is the one my daughter, who is two, she loves this one, even though she really couldn't get it at first, and it was always, I need your finger, but now she's pretty good at it, so she doesn't need me. Um, this one has two options also, you have six pieces and twelve pieces, and there are six puzzles that you can do. And here's the twelve piece, if, you know, for more experienced children. And then I think you click, there you go, you click the puzzle and it takes all the pieces out. And then now you have to solve the puzzle. You know, just like a normal um, jigsaw puzzle. There you go. Doesn't take long at all. Yep. I like puzzles, so I don't mind doing this one. There you go. And then it gives you a nice little story. And that's it. So that's the whole app. Again, it's not very uh, extensive, but it's enough there to keep your child interested, at least maybe on a car ride or if you're at the grocery store or something. So it's definitely an app that you want to download if you have small children and you need something to keep them busy. So again, this is Mrs. Spider's uh, Tea Party. 
I think was the name of this one. Check the description um, on our blog for the links to get this particular app as well as the, um, the other Miss Spider app. And I hope you enjoyed our review or our walkthrough. And we'll see you guys on the next review.